In this video, I'm going to show some examples of how to choose the most appropriate unit of measurement. And for the purpose of this video, we're going to try to look for measurements in three different categories. One is mass, which on Earth is the same thing as weight. The other one is volume, which is very similar to capacity. And the third one is length. We have two major systems of measurement. One is called the metric system, and the other is the customary system or the imperial system of measurement. The metric system is generally used everywhere in, in the world except for the United States, whereas the customary system is used in the United States and pretty much nowhere else. But if we look at these two systems of measurement, we can look at different units that are used to measure mass, volume, and length in each one. In the metric system, the basic unit of mass is the gram, but there are other measurements that you frequently use, such as kilograms and milligrams. In the customary system, we don't have a basic unit, but the most common units you're going to use are pounds, ounces, and tons. In volume, in the metric system, our basic unit is the liter, and probably the, the only one that you commonly will use as well is the milliliter. In the customary system, we usually use me measurements of capacity, which are the gallon, quart, pint, cup, and then other things like tablespoons and teaspoons. In length, the basic unit in the metric system is the meter. And you'll use things as well like kilometers, centimeters, and millimeters. In the, in the customary system, the most common units of measurement would be the mile, the yard, the foot, or inches. When we're talking about measuring mass, we're talking about how heavy something is. It's the, the technical definition would be the amount of matter that is in, a, is in an object. On Earth, the amount of matter that's in an object and its weight, which is the gravitational pull of an object, are equivalent. Volume refers to the amount of three-dimensional space that an object occupies, and it's very similar to capacity. The, really, the only difference is that when we're talking about capacity, we're talking about containers. So instead of talking about how much three-dimensional space an object occupies, it's how much uh, of a liquid or it can be a solid, but it's basically how much a container can hold. And then when we're talking about length, we're talking about measuring distance, and this can be done in either one or two dimensions. On question one, it says which unit could be used to measure the volume of a planter box? So because we know that this is volume, we know we're in this category. And it says A is a cubic inch, B is an inch, or C is a square inch. Now notice that an inch is under the length category here, but we can actually use any of those units of length to measure volume if we are using them in three dimensions. If we're measuring the length, the width, and the height, and then multiplying all those dimensions together to find the amount of three-dimensional space that an object occupies. So in this case, the only reasonable answer would be the cubic inch because that is referring to three-dimensional space, which is what volume measures. On question two, it says name a unit that could be used to measure the volume of a small fish tank. So here's our keyword there. We're talking about a small fish tank. Now we can use three-dimensional units of length like cubic inches or cubic feet or cubic yards. But if we're talking about the, the volume of a small fish tank, that is a container. So we're probably going to be talking cubic or units of capacity. So a small fish tank is not going to be cups or pints or probably even quarts. A small fish tank is going to be a maybe 10-gallon fish tank. If you were in another country, we could refer to it as liters. But in the United States, the best choice would be gallons. Question three says, which unit could be used to measure the area of a park? Area is a two-dimensional space. It's the amount of space that an object covers. And we would use these units of length again 
but we'd use them in two dimensions. If we look at the answer choices, choice B is one dimensional, which means it might be used to measure the perimeter of the park when we're just measuring the distance around it. And choice C is three dimensional, so it would be used to measure the volume of something. Choice A is the only one that is in two dimensions, which is what area is. And a park is going to be a fairly large amount of square meters, but it's not going to be square kilometers. Square kilometers would be, you'd be talking about cities. And question four says, name a unit that could be used to measure the weight of a small dog. Remember that weight and mass on Earth are equivalent. So when we're looking for the weight of a small dog, it's not going to make sense for it to be in grams or milligrams or ounces or even tons. So really our only two choices are pounds, probably less than 10 pounds, or kilograms. And a kilogram is equivalent to approximately 2.2 pounds. So it would be even less than that kilograms, maybe four or five kilograms.